What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have some news to talk about and I bet you can guess what I'm gonna say next. The 2024 Mustang pricing guys. We have officially been given that info by Ford if you haven't seen it already which you probably have by now. I'm not the first one with this information. Ford has come out and, and, uh, and updated their website actually with all of the pricing for the 2024 model year. They haven't updated the site fully, like there's no like build configurator or anything like that for the 2024 Mustang, but they did update uh, the prices, which is pretty cool. So today we're gonna kinda go through the pricing there and um, update you guys if you guys haven't seen it so far. And um, it's, it's pretty on par with what we, or what I was at least expecting. But um, yeah, let's just get straight into it. Well guys, while well, the traffic is, uh, is slowly moving and I'm sitting here. Let's go through the pricing for the, the 2024 uh, EcoBoost at least. So the base EcoBoost, you're gonna have a price of $30,920. So a little bit over your $30,000 price tag to get kind of entry level Mustang EcoBoost base, which is kind of what I was expecting and what was kind of predicted for the 2024 model year. So nothing too crazy there. And actually in my last video, we went through the base level interior of the 2024 Mustang. So if you guys didn't see that one and you're curious of what you will get for the base and what the interior kind of looks like, click up here or over here, wherever I'm gonna put it. And I'll put a card uh, for you guys to check out my last video. One thing I did find interesting about what they updated on their website for the base one, they're, they're kind of showcasing, I guess, this like Copilot 360, which I'm guessing is kind of like lane departure or like automatic or automated cruise control or something. So I'm not super familiar with this Copilot 360 that they're talking about, uh, but apparently the base model Mustang has it. So if you guys are, you know, more familiar with that than I am, put it down in the, uh, the comments section. I'll try to do some research on it too. But uh, I did see that and I was like, huh, I wonder. So there's some cool technology, obviously, we're gonna be getting in the new platform. All right, moving on from the base level EcoBoost, we have your premium level EcoBoost. And that is gonna be going for 36,445. So you jump up about five, five, six thousand dollars there, I guess. And you'll get that premium display. You get the leather seats. You get a few other goodies there. That sun is super blinding. I'm sorry about that. Hold on one sec. There we go. Better. So premium, you're going to be $36,000, $37,000 or so. So it's getting up there, man. I remember you could get like a, a premium. Like I got this premium EcoBoost. I got it used, but I got it for under $20,000 back when I bought it. Granted, it had like 40,000 miles on it, but man, they are getting kind of expensive, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Moving on, if you like your convertibles, Ford has the new convertible pricing out as well. You're gonna be paying 41,945 for a new EcoBoost premium convertible. So, I don't know, man, that's that's GT territory. I mean, you know, if you love convertibles, I'm not really into convertibles myself, but I see the appeal. So your premium convertible, guys, EcoBoost is gonna be like almost $42,000. So it's getting expensive. That covers the entire EcoBoost lineup. And now we are on to the GT. So if you want that new fourth generation Coyote five liter V8 engine, you're gonna be looking at $41,495 for a base. For the base GT Mustang with that new five liter, fourth gen Coyote engine in it, almost $42,000. So that convertible EcoBoost premium, I mean, you're right at where you'd be pretty much for a base level GT. You know, back, and actually I, I mentioned it in my last video, for this, this entire time, I'm thinking, all right, base level GT will be what I'm gonna go for. I assumed it's gonna be around $40,000. But uh, now that it's confirmed and, it, and the MSRP is gonna be over that, man, it's just, they're getting expensive, like I said. So, I don't know, we'll have to see. And I am 100% certain that markups are probably gonna be ridiculous. I really hope they're not, and I'm crossing my fingers 
that we get some good dealers that aren't gonna just mark these up like nobody's business, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be what it is. So I don't know, guys, what these will actually go for, but this is what Ford wants you to buy them at. Now the GT Premium, you're gonna be able to pick up one of those for $46,015. So there must be something in there that cost $15 and they, they couldn't just do an even $46,000. They had to add that $15 on there. So $46,015 will cost you for the new premium Mustang GT. And that one, again, you get that whole center display, that one pane of curved glass super kind of cool but it also is kind of weird so i don't know let me know what you guys think would you go for the premium would you go for the base are you going to skip it all together i want to know put it in the comments down below and then obviously those convertible guys were swinging back around to you gt premium convertible how much is it going to cost you well fifty one thousand dollars basically 52 51 515 so yeah $52,000 is what it's gonna cost you. And uh, again, that's just, you know, MSRP or starting at. I'm sure there's gonna be tons of options. You're gonna be able to ramp that up as high as you really want to go and as much as you wanna spend. But that is where they're gonna be starting. And then onto everyone's favorite, the Dark Horse, which is completely out of my budget, but I'll tell you guys about it in case it's in yours. You can pick up a brand new Dark Horse for $57,970. So just about $58,000. and. You know, that's, we were thinking, I was thinking anyway, and what the rumors are circulating is it's gonna be under 60K, somewhere around there. And so they were right on with that. Um, man, still, still pricey. I don't know, guys. Let me know what you're thinking about these prices. I guess, you know, it's, it's more expensive than the previous gen is, which we kind of knew. You're getting a lot more technology in the new generation, you know? So the pricing is gonna be more. But uh, this is where we are. Everything from the, the base level EcoBoost to the Dark Horse Edition. Let me know what you're thinking about this. My intention was I was gonna go possibly for a 2024 base level GT because I think that would suffice my, you know, my needs and it'd be really cool for the channel. But I just don't know, guys. I, I have a feeling, like I said, the, uh, the markups. I, I'm fearing the markups because if it's already an MSRP of $42,000 basically for the GT base, I gotta, I gotta have it that, you know, that's for the manual too. That's for the manual. So if we want that 10 speed, I'm guessing it's going to be another $2,000 on top of it with no other option whatsoever. Then you get into all your other fees and crap <laughs> that the dealership is going to, you know, add on and whatever. We're gonna be up to uh, you know high 40s, something like that. But if you guys are into that and that's where your price point is for your next car and you're looking at these Mustangs, man, let me know which one you guys think you wanna go with. And there's that sun again, Jesus, just blinding the crap out of all you guys viewing. I'm sorry about that. But anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys found this mildly entertaining and hopefully informative. If you guys want more information, on any of this ford does have a little bit more information on their website so go feel free check that out let me know what i missed and uh, of course we'll catch you in the next video you guys have a good one bye